all right so what is going on youtube now i did release a spiral replay video with the deck i was playing and i did make a bunch of changes as you can see to the deck and that's all thanks to bailey um stanich i believe his name is now this these are the changes i did make to the deck i cut a gofu uh cut a uh, what's the name i cut a last resort but i'm thinking about putting this back in because it has been so many times where i needed the third last resort I just really love it. I took the Brio out for Stardust Charge Word because I, I just never go into Brio. And then I'm not going to buy a Brio because they're like 8 bucks and nobody plays it. So I was like, why the fuck? It, it, yeah, that's why. I took out the Utopia package because this is $40. I'm not paying $40 for an Exceed. I can literally go into, I guess, once. It's stupid. Um, so I put in uh, Kenogorgon, um, Blade Army Ninja, Gaga Ga Samurai, uh, and I believe, um, yeah, I believe that, I be, uh, did I put a Leo in? No, I think that was already there, but yeah. Um, anyway, as for the main deck changes, what I did was I took out a Minecrust, took out one of these, I took out the Festival Springs, I took out the, the Twin Twister, the Book of Moon, uh, the third last resort, as I said previously, one Gofu and Gamma Seal, and I've replaced those with um, two utility wires, which are, where are they at? They're right here, they're great, fantastic addition. Uh, what else did we put in? Um, I think uh, we put in a tough fantastic edition um, uh, And I believe that's the only changes we really made. Yeah, we put in a tough we put in uh, two utility wires Which are amazing and we cut the deck down to 45 from 53. So that's just really good So I do got some replays that I can show you guys and so you guys can see um, What the deck does now so without further ado, let's hop straight into that but before we start I would like to say thank you guys for watching and if you guys do enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe and if you guys can click an ad to help support the channel so without further ado let's hop straight and all right the first duel we go up against is against um fluffles and um i don't know it's fluffles at this point but i do now so now i'm thinking all right there's nothing really he can do with me and right here this is why i want three resort is because i don't know first of all i don't even know if this is even correct a play to do because it is the first turn and I can't attack, so I don't know if I could use this, you know, in the first turn because technically I can't attack. But once again, it's optional to attack directly. So I don't know how that is. I probably have to ask Konami or somebody can let me know down in the comments below how that's supposed to work. But I use last resort to ditch the master plan to get that in the graveyard. Use the big red to get the master plan and then search that, equip that, send that, search through two more cards, activate another resort bam and see this is why i need the third last resort because right here i could have searched a last week oh, wait did, i could set a spiral gear drone i could have searched the last resort and equipped it and we would have been all good in the hood but since i couldn't that's what happened and i did not want to put master plan back into uh the deck because i do want i do want to use rescue for it and so right here He's going into the polymerization, and I'm thinking, hmm, if you use the instant fusion for this, you're probably wanting to go into the one that it can't be destroyed. Um, it was it can't be destroyed or targeted, correct? It, um, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. So I'm thinking he's going into that one, and it requires a fusion. So I say, you know what, I'm going to hit it right now because he can't go into anything else that's going to, you know, he can't go into the tiger and pop everything because of resort. Now that I flipped that up, going to the tiger is pretty much useless. And you only control one tiger. So I'm not scared about that. He attacks with that. It's okay. I can get the agent. And rescue second effect is so good. We can just get a free spiral back. And you can use it on your opponent's turn. So master plan dies. As you see, I'm just going to just gain a whole bunch of advantage. Draw into a gamma seal. We're back to six cards. Literally, after, after I believe we're left with like one or two cards left in hand. And we're, now we're at six. So... Here we go, get the master plan, get another rescue. And right here is this was, I believe this is where I mess up. Um, I possibly should no, I did not mess up because quick fix is, is not in the graveyard. Um I was thinking uh go tough and stuff like that, but I did not want to leave it up to really chance. I wanted to get the drone out first. And with Big Red being on this, he can't kill it by battle, so add the sleeper back. And now we're just gonna just steamroll our opponent right now, add another assault mission. I mean spiral mission assault. Normal summon tough, uh, activate a, a, a super agent to get see what the top card is. Use tough to pop, equip to tough, send the rescue, use rescue, get the agent back, go into a dark rebellion, boost this up, activate big red, get the last resort, equip it to this, do shenanigans, and pretty much just, just throttle my opponent. So, yeah. 
so yeah that's pretty much how that one went now second duel uh, as you can see i did not open up the greatest hand because right here i'm thinking i could have sent quick fix and then discard to get it something but i was like uh that's not the greatest i guess play um i don't know if i even activated agent which i probably should have did because i i would have called monsters um i would have revealed that i would have got that and i could have actually set his whole next three cards i would have gave him a scatter shot but you know it's still cool um i learned my lesson he activates his pot of Zali right here <clears throat> pot of duality right there and i'm thinking okay he's going to get something stupid and he actually he, he feels some some strange cards so i'm guessing it's true draco stuff so right here i call spells because i see he's playing true dracos and you know they play a massive amount of spells send that and as you can see i drew the machine dupe but now it's too late because he does have a ghost dash so right here i'm gonna go xyz rebellion dragon because we can put it at 36 and as you can see all i need now is to draw any any what's the name any level four any level four and then we can win but he does set a monster so i'm thinking all right we got to get right with tough what do we call we call spells because like i said the mo the majority of the deck it's most likely spells as you can see we easily could have got it wrong and actually lost the next turn because what, what was at the top of his deck uh, terraforming we possibly would have lost if he would have got it off but we do hit right and we do win and i thought that was just uh, real funny to just put in because it was just real funny that i actually had exact game and all right here we go against dark worlds and as you can see i opened up double quick fix and i opened up um what's the name <clears throat> i opened up double quick fix so I'm thinking, and a terraforming, so I'm thinking, all right, we can do a lot with this. Discard quick fix for a quick fix. Uh, what's the name? Use a resort, get the master plan. And this is why I just love this card. This is why I love master plan because it's this is such a fucking good card. Sadly, we, we hit another one off the princess, right? But that's all cool. Discard the rescue. Rescue is going to get us another quick fix to the grave. Actually, it's going to get us another mission because I think I do search another spire mission rescue. No, I, I search uh, assault because assault is good. But as you can see, after the first turn with literally two quick fixes and a terraforming, we're ending with a plus seven. We started with five. We're ending with a plus seven, which is crazy. And we could have dropped sleeper, but once again, we don't play the third resort. So we couldn't equip it with that. And yeah, that that's the only reason the sleeper's not on the board right now. Possibly could have still did it because... Um, I could have just targeted this and did the same thing, but I didn't want sleeper to die and be able to pop everything on the board So that's why I did it the way that I did once again hit another master plan with that which sucks But as you can see, we're just going completely 1000% in our opponent can't do nothing about it. Look how much this is deck is just so good because it builds so much advantage so quickly And it's like when you get once you get to rolling you just just destroy your opponent and here we go again. Now we're going up against True Dracos. And as you see on my hand, it's not the greatest. Now, if he did not activate this maxi, I was going to do my standard quick fix into a last resort um, and search at what's the name and then get a big red because I did have another terraforming. But he activated the maxi. And if I drone locked bird pretty much after his maxi, I, I wouldn't be able to search because it says neither player can add cards. So that would have been a bad thing. I've already did that before, so I'm not going to do it again. Here he goes. You activate the Lithogasm. I have the Mind Crush, which is very, very good in this goddamn deck. I really love the card, but I did activate Drone Lockbird, so he's not going to be able to search, but I, he does summon the Tyranno, and I get hit with 4,500 damage in one turn, but I do have a Gamma Seal, so I can easily get over it. And as you can see, watch what this field pretty much end up as because of the uh, Tough, which is amazing, we go ahead and call spells, get rid of that. Quick fix, discard, get the last resort, get a master plan. Master plan searches, assault, equipped, send that to the graveyard, search to activate resorts, keep going, drop the spiral sleeper, equipped, activate assault, and we get a free extra draw. And on top of that, we do draw into a gamma still, so we're already good. And now this can't die, this can't die. We're good. We can easily beat our opponent. So here he goes. He activate fossil fossil dig gets the the old raptor, searches to Tyranno. So right here he's pretty much in the pickle. There's not really too much he can do. If he does activate the effect, sleeper is still gonna pop. And if I activate effect to pop, he still if he does he put everything down. I mean he still just he still fucking dies. So it doesn't really matter. Put my opponent just 
already down and we, we just win from there but as you can see just from the four cards we ended up with one two three four five six seven eight ended up with eight after four so that's just a plus four just off of, of, of uh, what's that a terraforming uh a, a terraforming a big red and quick fix and you just end up with plus four which is crazy and here we go with the last duel of the day and i just i really love this uh, what's i really love this duel because it just this, this is just so good right here and then plus with a terraforming you just you just straight but i really love this duel even though you everybody knows what cards you're getting it's still a plus four because you still build massive advantage so right here he does activate the ghost ash on a quick fix but it doesn't work because i already have another what's the name and here i i mess up i clearly mess up i should have got another quick fix but this is like i said this is something i'm i learned as i played the deck um i, I just mess up right here because i easily could have uh what's the name could have got another quick fix and just looped that off but i love drone because with drone i can literally see the next three cards he is i don't know why it's double regeki I really don't know why it's double regeki. I believe that was a kaiju slumber when it, during the real duel, but I digress. It doesn't matter. I get. I, I really like drone because you get to see your opponent's next three cards. So I mean, you're guaranteed hit with agent, and then you could first of all to see your opponent's next three cards is just amazing. So because now you can dictate what your opponent does, even though you don't know their hand, you still know their plays for next turn. Like you know what card they're getting. So if you got mind crush or something like that, that's a free mind crush. Not only is it a free mind crush, but now you get free advantage with your opponent's hand. And then since spirals, they play so much protective cards, it you can get a free fucking Western name. Like you, you get a free uh you get a free sleeper that can't be destroyed because of last resort, that can't be targeted because of spiral resort, and it's just so good. So I guess giving him Regeki was the best option at that point because like I said, he can't get over sleeper. And that was my whole end game with the whole play was to drop a sleeper with the last resort. And this, once again, this is why I want to play three of this card because it's just a fucking fantastic card. I believe I banished one. No, it's, it's, it's not. I just still have one. I still have one left in the deck. But this is exactly why I love playing three resort. Is because last resort is because this is just an amazing card. So as you can see here, I wanted to master plan searching another rescue because that not not only can you just not only can you uh special summon something from your graveyard you can add a spiral back to your hand which is very very um i guess underrated with this deck once again going to another drone so look like he he was he was top decking this I, he could have got this he could have drew a machine dupe and what he could have did was use cyber dragon core to get another one out even though you know he can't use it like i said for now i can uh i set his deck up so now he's going to draw into a ghost ash so like I, I know what you're doing you're going to get a bad card i'm cool see look bam ghost ash right there set the utility wire rescue set so even if he does manage to get over everything on this board still I have a rescue to get back to sleeper when when this rescue dies i can get back more uh i can get back spirals from the graveyard i have a utility wire like all this stuff this is why I love playing this deck, and this is exactly why I went for drone, so I can dictate what my opponent gets. But as you can see, there's really not too much he can do. He could, uh, he can go into Cyber Dragon Infinity all he wants. He can't target none of my spirals. Sleeper is bigger than his Infinity. This is nothing he can do. This can't, tar this can't really target anything. Get the back to drone. He's gonna negate, but like I said, Sleeper can just go ahead and pop both. Put that right back and yeah that's pretty much the end of the duel just going to end it there once again drone again and he i, was, I put another ghost ass to the top of his deck and i just thought that was funny but yeah that is uh a little quick spiral video even though i know the 13 minutes is decent but that's a quick spiral video hope you guys did enjoy that video right there um see you guys later on today with a spiral video but leave a comment below let me know what you think about it and stuff like that